All right, folks. Hello, ILN family. Uh, so nice to be in a community that's finally so warm and uh, welcoming. Anyway, wanted to get in uh, my Million Dollar Day video before it got too uh, far gone. It is Monday, the end of our long weekend, and I started my Million Dollar Day on Friday. And let me tell you what kind of dramatic shift that has taken place. After I went through the two-hour training, the Mark Hoverson training, I was able to actually find a place in my mind where the caps kind of just lifted. Uh, there was no more limits to um, what can be done or should be done. Everything just became doable. And that's huge <laughs> in my life. It's not like I thought that I couldn't do something before, but it was kind of put uh, in priority sequence and uh, on shelves for later. So uh, the biggest thing, yes, was this shift that took place uh, right before I started. I actually have never even thought of or even imagined um, earning you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. It just, it's not a part of the life s s style or mindset that I had ever envisioned um, becoming a part of because of course I thought it would be a lot of work. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm very minimalist. And uh, when I went through the training, there was almost like a, a, a an earning potential cap that was in my mind that I wasn't even aware of that kind of just lifted off and now uh, I did so much stuff. I have three children ages four, two, and one and it makes excuses just so easy to pour out and gives me reasons why I can put things on shelves or on halt or on pause or uh, just not do them at all. And what I realized is I put them to work <laughs> and I got a lot of stuff done. Um, not that I don't make them do their own regular things on a daily basis, but they were really glad to jump in and help me. Out. Um, yes, that was the biggest thing that I noticed was that now that I have opened myself up to being able to do whatever falls in my lap and go at it and attack it, uh, now I don't have the the backlogging, the fogginess. Um, almost a clarity has come over me and uh, in determining exactly where I want to be, where I want to go. And it's all thanks to this million dollar day. It, it really uh, kick-started uh, what was bound to take place. But of course, in procrastination world, everything's bound to take place, right? So if anybody's thinking of doing this or not sure if they should, um, try it out. It, it, I just kind of wanted to see what it was about and um, Mark Hoverson encourages us to just kind of take those bull horns and go with it and I did and I, w I amazed myself. Um, I think I did almost 80 years in some months. I don't have my papers on me. I'm downstairs. <laughs> uh, about 80 years worth of procrastination um, by making phone calls and making plans and organizing. And, and I'm a very organized person as it is. It just um, those little things that have kind of always been undone finally got done. <laughs> um, I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys was just about the the cap that was actually lifted off my mind that it's okay to earn more and it's okay to have more and do more and be more because uh, that's what it's all about, right? Because the more we have, the more we can give and uh, help others. And But we got to understand we have to help ourselves first. And um, I was a flight attendant for many years and each flight attendant is usually in charge of 25 to 30 people. And the very first thing that is always taught is take care of yourself first. Make sure that you've got all of your things in order. Uh, and then you're more equipped to help other people. So I really appreciate the ILN platform um, kind of structure and system to start everybody here because it really does take care of a lot of mind clutter and a lot of unnecessary things that 
you may be dealing with in your mind and it just kind of wipes it out and uh, I think that's all I want to tell you thank you so much uh, Vincent and Mark and uh, Ashley and Clifton you guys are awesome and I look forward to a long journey with you and I'll see you on the beaches of Jamaica real soon